What's up, everyone? Back with a video. Today, I'm going to show you how to downgrade your iPhone 5 from iOS 10.3.3 to iOS 8.4.1. This iPhone 5 I have right here is the A1428 model with the identifier iPhone 5.1 or 5,1, whatever. I'm not sure if this will work on the A1429 model, iPhone 5.2, or any of the iPad 4 models, but if you have one of those devices, please let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to update the description if it worked for those devices. Without any further ado, let's start by jailbreaking the iPhone. We're running clean iOS 10.3.0 right here. And to jailbreak, we're gonna need a computer. All right, so what we need to do now is get Helix. So go to helix.teamstar.net, click get Helix. And then we also need to get CD Impactor. So go to cdimpactor.com and download the version for you. And I've already downloaded it. So it's right here on my desktop. You wanna open CD Impactor and connect our device. And then drag and drop the Helix IP onto the CD Impactor window. Enter your Apple ID email and your Apple ID password. But if you're using two-factor authentication, you need to generate an app-specific password. So go to appleid.apple.com, um, log in with your Apple ID, Scroll down to app specific passwords, generate password, give it a label, and use that instead. I'm just going to use my Apple ID password for this. And it's going to take a moment. I got an error. It shouldn't be here, but it doesn't matter because the app installed on the device. So now we need to go back to the device. All right, so we have the Helix app on the device, but before we can actually open it and jailbreak the phone, we need to go into settings, uh, scroll down to general, scroll all the way down to device management, tap your Apple ID, trust, trust again, go back to the home screen and then open Helix. Tap jailbreak and wait for it to run the exploit. Alright, that didn't go well, but it's okay, we can try again. Alright, second attempt, so open Helix, jailbreak, we need to wait for the device to cool down apparently. Now it's gonna run the exploits. All right, this is gonna it's gonna work this time. And we're almost there with a jailbreak. And there we go. We are jailbroken. We just need to wait for the device to respring, and then we can go on with the tutorial. And there we have Cydia. Oh my gosh, turn the brightness down this. this thing. There we go. It works. Let's refresh it. And we're going to do a complete upgrade for good measure. And see the crashed. That's not a problem because one of the packages was CD installer after all. So now all we need to do is get Filza. Filza file manager. So we got to install it. Turn up. We're gonna return to CD. Go back to the home screen and open fills up. In here you want to go all the way back to slash the directory 
you want to go to system library core services and then system version of pilot open root and edit product build version and change this to 10b329 just like that go back should be 10b329 go to product version and change this to 6.1.3 just like that tap save and now we need to restart the iphone so the power button, slide the power off, Sorry, I don't know how to twerk. you will get a progress bar, there it is, uh, that's because we've changed the system version in the pillars file, but that's okay, it's gonna go away. Now we're back in iOS, we're gonna go to settings, general, software update, and we should get iOS 8.4.1. So download and install and wait for this, agree to the terms, and wait for this to download. Turn up. Alright, so the update process seems to have finished. As you can see, we had the slight unlock there. It asked me for my Wi Fi password again. Alright, let's get try again. There we go. And we're not exactly done yet. All we need to do now is go to settings, scroll the way, all the way down to general, scroll all the way down to reset, erase all content and settings, erase iPhone again, and wait for it to do its thing. And once again, we're back to the setup screen. So we just need to go through these options real quick. I'm gonna skip the Apple ID, don't use. Agree to a terms and conditions. Skip the passcode. And there we go. We have iOS 8.4.1 ready to use. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. If you want, to, if you want more tutorials, let me know in the comments. See you guys next time. Peace.